Okay, what I'm doing here is derived from the ancient Japanese craft called yakisugi. Now, traditionally in Japan, it is a process used to burn the outer layer of wood siding. Yakisugi literally means burned cypress. And uh, in the West here, it's become popular to use the term shosugiban. Now, from my understanding and some consultation with some friends of mine, some Japanese friends of mine, is that shosugiban is a misinterpretation of the Japanese kanji. So if you were to speak of this process in Japan as shosugiban, people would look at you pretty much like you're crazy. And most likely, samurai would soon be sent to capture you and cut off your limbs. Well, not really. But the art of yakisugi is something to be respected as with so many Japanese crafts that have been refined and mastered over many hundreds or thousands of years. Now the process of yakisugi involves the burning of siding planks made from Japanese cypress. Now, traditionally, three cypress planks are tied together in a triangular formation to form a chimney of sorts. This is almost like a chimney that you would use to start charcoal for a barbecue. This is uh, almost like a, a rocket stove. I know a lot of you guys have seen those rocket stoves where it draws the hot air up and the flame shoots out the top. So this is a similar thing. So you tie the three cedar planks together and you tie it together with some steel wire. Some people use some chains. And this creates a kind of chimney. And you set this over a small fire. And the fire goes up through the bottom and burns the cedar planks from the inside. All right, now this outer charring creates a layer that is incredibly weather and rot resistant and has definitely held up to the test of time. In Japan, there are Japanese temples and pagodas that have stood for thousands of years using this method, right? Just as charring on the outside of the cedar and with no uh, preservatives or oil or that type of thing, just the raw char holds up to weather incredibly well. Now what I'm doing here is derived from the art of yakisugi. I am using western red cedar from the Pacific Northwest and I am burning it with an oxyacetylene torch. Now you wouldn't see this done traditionally in Japan, although the process of yakisugi has been adapted for use for interior finishes on furniture, which is uh, what I'm using it for right here. I'm building a, a bathroom vanity. And uh, I mostly like it for the color and the effect that it gives to the wood. It just gives such a beautiful look to the wood. Now, after I'm done with the torch, I will uh, polish this lightly with some Scotch-Brite. Now, I like using this oxyacetylene torch. It is incredibly hot, but I also like using uh, the propane weed burner. Using the uh, oxyacetylene torch is great, but that's uh, expensive fuel to use. Propane's a little bit cheaper, and those weed burners work really good, but keep your eyes peeled for samurai poking around the corner, ready to slice and dice you. You know, that is not the traditional way of doing it, but it works well for creating this effect on furniture. And I should note here that I am using three different types of wood for this project. This is actually dug fir that I'm burning here. I'm also using uh, western red cedar for the tops of the vanities that I am building. And I'm also using hemlock. And uh, they all burn slightly different. You get a little different pattern on each wood. And uh, you can decide which one you like the best. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, now I'm lightly going over the surface with some scotch Bright, and you gotta take off some of this powdery char. Uh, otherwise, uh, the finish won't stick too well to the wood. Uh, here I'm blowing it off with an air nozzle, just get off all the dust. And uh, this is the western red cedar that you see here. This piece that I'm working on here is actually the hemlock, and this is uh, quite a different look uh, than the cedar and from the duck fir. I actually really like it a lot, and this is going to look great when I get some finish on it. Now I'm rolling on a coat of Bana Mega Floor Finish. Now this is a waterborne floor finish, and this is great for a countertop such as this. This will be incredibly durable in a bathroom. I'll put a few coats of this on the top. This will be nice and water resistant, right? If it can hold up to foot traffic on the floor, it can definitely hold up to uh, some abuse here on a countertop. Uh, I like to brush it out, and uh, this is great for getting in all the little nooks and crannies, and this uh, flattens out any bubbles that come from the roller. You can see there's little bubbles there, and then I go over it with a brush, and uh, this just gives a great finish. It dries in a couple hours, and then you can recoat it. It's just a, a wonderful product. Right on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun working on it, building this Yaki Sugi vanity. Just a really fun project to work on, burning up the wood and creating this really cool bathroom. Now check out these canoe paddle towel bars and that ladder towel rack. That's in another video that you guys can watch. And if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. And yes, the rumors are true. I do have a new YouTube channel called Right on Pizza. It's going to be a lot of pizza content. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's in its infancy. Please go over there and subscribe to my new channel, Right on Pizza. All right, right on.